Hi Scorpio, welcome to Love Full Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your yearly forecast for 2022. We're going to be doing a career in finance with uh, some health messages and then we're going to do a reading for love for those in relationships and then finally a uh, love reading for those who are single. So again Scorpios, uh, please feel free to skip through the videos as needed and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This is your first ever reading for Scorpios and I'm so excited for you guys. Let's begin. I'm gonna shuffle the cards and we're gonna have whatever comes out while I shuffle. We're gonna draw one last card for an advice and then that's how we're gonna be doing most of the readings, okay, for now. So guys, what's in store for you, Scorpio? for 2022 for career finance and health please give me a message universe for scorpio what does scorpio need to know for the year let's go through your reading again guys this vibe is pretty casual here it's like hanging out with me on a regular night those of you who know me uh you guys will enjoy yourselves okay so let's just hang out and go on this journey together and i hope you guys uh stick in for the long run okay okay scorpio we have our first card it is the ten of wands in reverse there we go ten of wands in reverse this could mean you are overburdened with something this year for 2022 what are you being overburdened with could it be work are you working too hard Scorpio, what are you doing? Are you being too intense again? Well, sometimes it means this could also say that you need help with something. You need assistance with something in your life. Okay? Sometimes we forget and, you know, we don't like to ask for help because it shows some sort of weakness. But sometimes it's okay when we're feeling completely overburdened because those moments are tough to go through by yourself. Give me more messages for Scorpio for 2022. What else do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Universe. There we go. We have the Four of Swords. I have a friend who's a Scorpio who always gets the Four of Swords, so this is for you. All right, so Four of Swords, this is now a time in the year, maybe early on, that maybe you're going to have to consider taking a break from something. Maybe a little mini vacation. Maybe just stay at home and lounge out and watch Netflix by yourself and drink wine. Okay, whatever it is you need, read a book, meditate, go out on an adventure by yourself, do some traveling. Feels like this is an energy that you're going to be embracing for the year in some ways because at some point you're going to be overworked, you're going to need some help, or you're going to have to let go of some too many uh, opportunities coming your way and you're just overwhelmed. If it's not about opportunities, you have too many tasks. Your schedule's full, maybe beginning of the year, and it's going to be time for you to now take a little bit of a break okay what else is coming up we have the moon card for you guys Scorpio and the moon Scorpio and the moon okay so you know you guys are linked to this card it is very much uh, a darker kind of energy so you know you'll be taking a break but you'll also be embracing uh, some of your darker self, your shadow self. So our deeper emotions, things that we hide from others, um, the way we like feel, just going to more extremes for some of you, but it's also needed in order for you to heal. Could be some deep emotions that you're still holding on to, maybe causing you some emotional burden that you're kind of still working out what else is coming up for Scorpio we have the temperance card in reverse 
lot of major arcana here at the end here for you. This could be maybe you not being patient enough. And temperance usually is about divine timing and waiting and being patient and having something come in that's uh, rightfully yours. This now is in reverse, so it could mean that you are not patient or maybe you don't believe that something will happen for you in, in, in due time. Okay, for some of you in terms of health with the moon card, this could mean that you guys uh, aren't seeing something. So maybe, you know, check for lumps, check for any spots on your skin. Can mean something you're not dealing with that you're uh, ignoring a health issue that you deep down do know about but you're not really going to get it checked so for some of you scorpios i'd go and make an appointment and get things checked out do your checkup for some of you you may have insomnia maybe you need to rest more okay and this overworked card here could uh basically say that you're going to be stressed out and you're going to have some muscle issues and pain. And you'll need physio if you keep overworking yourself this year. What else do we have for Scorpio? Could be a temperance, uh, sorry, it could be a Sagittarius person with the temperance card that you're dealing with. So it could be a coworker, could be a boss, but I'd say it's more of an energy. Okay, you're needing to, you're too impatient and you need to wait longer. Something's interfering the process. You're in a rush. All right, what else is coming up in career and finance? The justice, you could be winning a court battle situation or any type of conflict, maybe you're going to have a, a win here. You're gonna feel like you've been treated fairly, equally, something about balance. For those of you who, this isn't about that, uh, it could mean a promotion, okay? Where you're getting what you deserve. Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're gonna be working hard throughout the year and you're gonna be rewarded for it and you're gonna be consistent, very consistent. You're gonna see what you're producing now. You're gonna be really proud of what you do. We have the Ace of Swords. So possibly a new contract that you're signing or it could be you're signing a lease to a car or a, a home or purchasing even. Or for some of you, yes, it's a new job or a new career opportunity or a new place in the department that you're in, another department even. Could be for some of you a new idea or business venture that you're going to be taking on. For some of you who are self-employed, you have a new perspective What is it that you Scorpios are doing? Just taking on new things all the time here? You're gonna be working hard though. What else is there coming up for? Scorpio. We have the Nine of Swords. You're still worrying about things. Maybe you always will worry and that's okay but you're thinking too much throughout the year. Still anxious about something. Something's still bothering you. A lot of you can be depressed this year and maybe you have to go and get some help with that too. A lot of you could have sleep apnea. Maybe you're snoring too much. Maybe your partner notices you're snoring. That could be something to do with sleep. Okay, with the Nine of Swords here. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. Ten of 
pentacles again. Beautiful. So money will be coming in definitely. You're working hard. You know, maybe mentally you're distracted a bit and you're going through some stuff, but you're definitely pulling through and money's definitely not an issue for you. So in terms of your job, whatever it is, security, you guys have that, okay? And that's a good thing to have. Any advice card for Scorpio for the year 2022? Again, guys, with the 10 of pentacles, please watch out for your diet and overindulging on things and enjoying all of life's delicious treats, okay? What else do we need to know? Oh, well, we're going to grab that. It is the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay, sorry about that. Well, guess what? This is about you needing to know where your limits are when it comes to spending. And even if it's a personality trait, I would say that this teaches you that maybe you need to stop being jealous and um, possessive over things. And sometimes even a lazy energy that we're kind of having, you need to get out of that energy you need to be more supportive, you need to be more loving, you need to be more nurturing. Uh, that could be in regards to your job. So, you know, you have to put in, although you are working hard, maybe you're not working smart, okay? And there's still some sort of setbacks with you that you have to overcome still. But money's not everything. And it doesn't bring you all the power either with the King of Pentacles in reverse here. It teaches us to forget about maybe the material things in life and search from deep within. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. And we're going to move on to love and relationships. Those Scorpios in a relationship. And then lastly, those of you who are single. We'll be right back. Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel and we're going to be doing a love reading for those of you already in a relationship. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, please check back and try another video. Uh, these messages aren't for everyone because this is again just a general reading for those of you who are in a relationship. For those of you who are single Scorpios, you can check out the next video in the timestamp in the info page. And I'll have you covered there. So let's begin for Scorpio. Those of you who are already in a relationship. What is coming up in the new year? For Scorpio. Let's begin. We have here the nine of pentacles. So you guys will be spending some money this year. This could be you getting a home. Or uh, maybe you're buying a car for each other. Something that you'll be buying between the two of you could also be spending money on things that you like, like going out to eat or um, new clothes. And that won't be a problem because money's great and coming in for the both of you. Okay? You'll be living very comfortably and enjoying, which is great. Let's see what else is coming up for Scorpio in the new year. For those of you already in a relationship, any messages of love coming in for Scorpio? Please give me a message, universe. We have two cards. First card drawn out is the star card. This could be an Aquarius energy, but I see it more as a love energy and a deeper connection coming in between the two of you this year. This is going to be a time where you'll heal together and go through whatever it is you need to go through, but you'll also bond together much deeper than you were before. And it's a very trusting and healing love energy for the two of you. How amazing is that? Then we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. You know, emotionally, you're going to feel so fulfilled. In fact, you've never felt love like this before with anyone this partner that you have right now is everything for you. 
okay? They give you emotional strength and you feel completely satisfied by, by that. You guys trust each other. You guys are creative together. You guys bring out uh, matters of the heart between you two. You just really grow between the two of you. It's an amazing connection. Okay? This could also be a water sign you're dealing with. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm seeing it could be Aquarius here as well. What else is coming in for Scorpio? This could be your energy. This card could also be you. And you are the one feeling emotionally content right now and really trusting in your intuition and your feelings about this person because you know that they're the one for you and you guys are really happy together. Scorpio, what else is coming up for you in 2022 in love and relationships? Universe, please give me a card. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is about, could sometimes mean me being bored or uh, refusing an offer, but because it is in reverse, it's almost like Anything that you've had between each other has always been so easy and it's more of a give and take and you guys see what each of you brings to this relationship easily. Okay. We have two cards here. First card we're going to have is the moon and deep down within your soul in your dark side, you even realize that this person is good for you and you're not even denying it anymore. You've been hiding maybe a part of yourself that you weren't able to really release, but with this person, you're so comfortable and everything is up on the table because it's that good of a connection, okay? Queen of Swords in reverse. But you know, you guys could maybe go through a few arguments and sometimes, you know, we have to choose our words wisely. Sometimes we can get mean with each other this could be an air sign, could also be a Virgo with the Queen of Swords here. Scorpio Cancer with the Moon card could be yourself as well. But I think you know that fighting isn't always the answer. And uh, sometimes, you know, being mean or too controlling isn't really great either. But you guys love each other. And emotionally, you know that no matter what's said, uh... What matters is how you feel about each other and you both really care about each other. We have here the Six of Swords in reverse. You're not moving on from the situation here. You're also possibly not going to be traveling anywhere. Maybe you won't be going out too much between the two of you. It's gonna be more of a stay at home type of relationship this year, okay? But I feel like you're going to be in this energy for a while and you don't want to move on from this and you're scared of that. Okay. You're scared of what if things go bad now? Like they can only get worse. No, things can only get better guys. Let it grow. Stop having anxiety about this, about moving forward. Okay. Any advice card we have for Scorpios for the new year, any messages that Scorpio needs to know, those who are already in a committed relationship, please give me a message for Scorpios. What advice does Scorpio need? We have the Nine of Cups. So Scorpio, your advice here is really value who you are, value the person that you're with, and you're already in a really deep connection. You're only going to get deeper as you know each other more and get to know each other more whether it's, you know, all your positive and negative traits, but you guys will be emotionally connected and you'll truly understand each other. And how amazing is a connection like that for Scorpio? You guys are intense. You guys can be emotional. I mean, this is emotional content here and wish fulfillment. So just know that you have what a lot of people don't have and don't let that go and don't let any petty arguments get in the way here for the year, okay? 
All right, Scorpio, we're gonna move on to those of you who are single. Let's get on with your reading. Hey Scorpio, welcome back. This reading's for singles. Glad you could join me today. We're gonna shuffle the deck a bit and we're gonna get some cards out and get you an advice card at the end here. Remember guys, I'll be doing other love readings, so please tune in to that. Like and subscribe and hit notifications for any future videos. You know I appreciate you, okay? All right, so let's see what's in store for Scorpio for the new year for those of you who are single. What is going on for Scorpio in 2022? What is coming up for Scorpio in 2022? What should Scorpio know for 2022 for those of you who are single? Please, universe, give me a message for Scorpio. Oh. What do we have for Scorpio? You have two, three cards. I'm going to take all three. Let's start with the first one. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. This came up in a reading earlier for you guys. So uh, right now for a lot of you single Scorpios, I'd say you're gonna be saving again for something, okay? Maybe you won't be going on expensive dates or you know, you're just gonna use what you have currently and throughout the year and that's okay. Better to be frugal, save your money for something when it counts right? Could be maybe uh, some sort of offer between a person. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Maybe this person uh, is has some sort of other agendas and they're too busy into themselves and what their value is and what their worth is. They don't pay attention to you. That could also be another energy coming up for you. We have the seven of swords. Could be an individual you're dealing with who isn't being honest with all the information up front. And you're kind of feeling this already coming into the new year. You guys are smart. You know. You know deep down inside what's going on, okay? If something doesn't feel right, then you need to trust your gut here or your intuition and say, okay, this doesn't really line up. Is this person telling me the truth? Or maybe find out if something doesn't add up Better to question it now than to find out later when you're in a more serious, committed relationship, right? Then we have the Three of Cups in reverse. So, you could be maybe avoiding large gatherings. You could be going out less and spending more time at home and really finding a homebody that will match that energy of yours right now. Maybe doing the bar or, you know, that's not for you anymore. Maybe this individual that you're dealing with um, is going out and lying about it and not being honest with you about it. And you're wondering, well, if they can't be honest with me about this, how is this going to be anything serious? How can I deal with something like that? What else is coming up for Scorpio? for the new year. Any messages for Scorpio singles, please give us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio singles for 2022. Universe, please give me a message for Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Sometimes the cards just don't want to come out, guys. But, you know, we have to be patient here. Let's get a clear message for you, okay? We have the Hierophant. So this could be a Taurus you're dealing with. But more so, it could be an energy. And the energy is about you being more traditional with what you want in a partner. Maybe you want to be courted more traditionally. Maybe you want to go out on dates. Maybe you want to be, you know, wooed a bit. Maybe you want marriage. Someone that's marriage material for you. 
and you're thinking about whether or not this person that you're dealing with right now is someone who can bring those values to you. Maybe they do have those values and that's what you're attracted to them about. But you know what you want and you know what you need. Right, Scorpio? So you're a little traditional, that's fine. We're influenced a lot by, you know, the people around us and even the media. You know, everyone wants a big wedding or a big celebration, that perfect union. What else is coming up for Scorpio in the new year for singles? Please universe, give me another message. We have one card here. It is the six of swords. So you'll either be moving on from this person or you're going to be being more committed between the two of you and moving past the point where, you know, there's uh, misinterpretation or uh, any deceit that's happening. Okay. You could also be traveling for a while by yourself. But I see other people with you, so you could be going with friends. And this will be a time away for you, from you. So you can rethink about, you know, what you really want here and what you believe that you deserve because you have values that need to be at least maintained, right? Don't give up on those values, guys, okay? Scorpio, let's see what else we have for you for 2022. For those of you who are single, let's draw some more cards here. We have the Nine of Swords. So I see you're upset about a situation. It could be a person you're dealing with. Maybe they hurt you and they're stressing you out a bit. Maybe that's why, you know, you need to just go away for a little bit. And you can wallow in your thoughts a bit. You can worry a little bit, but not too much. There'll be a lot of thinking to do about this person, okay? What else is in store for Scorpio singles in love? Please universe, give me a message for Scorpio singles in love. We have two cards, so we'll take them both. First card is the two of wands. Yeah, you guys are moving on from this situation and you're gonna go on other dates because you don't want to stress about this individual anymore and you're going to take a break for a while. Maybe hang out with your friends because you know what kind of values and traditions that you honor, okay? And it's not about going out and partying all the time. And if this person doesn't want to be honest with you, you know, that's something that you're not going to be able to share your life with. Then we have the Seven of Cups. So... There's going to be lots of new opportunities coming in once you let go of this situation and this person or this way of thinking. Okay, maybe you need to bring it back to your more traditional values and search for that person that you know would make a great partner for you in marriage, if that's what you want. And there will be options for you, Scorpio. That's great. There's a lot coming towards you this year. Let's draw one more card for advice for Scorpio. What does Scorpio single need to know for 2022? Please universe, give me a card. Let's get an advice card for Scorpio for 2022. What advice do we have for Scorpio for the new year? Let's get some advice card, please. Oh, that wasn't it. What messages do we have for advice? Okay, two came out, so we're going to take both guys. We have the Knight of Swords. 
and we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So because this is a double card, guys, the advice here is to move along, okay? You need to take action and you need to start th rethinking things and then start doing things, which means in your dating life, if you're searching for someone, you need to take more priority in that. Maybe, you know, you're still dealing with this individual here and you need to either, you know, confront them, figure it out so that you can move on if you need to for some of you Scorpios. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this kind of teaches you not to be in a jealous state or maybe not be so possessive with things or maybe that's seeing this quality in another individual and thinking, okay, well, why is this person jealous, possessive, controlling, and, you know, a bad energy for me? I want someone maybe more nurturing, maybe more loving, because uh, traditionally that's what I feel like I need. And if that's what you want, then you need to think about what, what position you're in right now and start taking some action, moving things along. Okay, and when you're mentally prepared and ready, then that's when you'll be able to find love for you. All right, Scorpios, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, remember, I'll have other love readings for you coming up soon. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is the end of your reading. So bye for now.